Hello, welcome back to the channel. Do you feel like a pork chop? <laughs> Can I make you some pork chops? How do you make pork chops in a Ninja air fryer or any air fryer? I am going to make your family happy with these delicious pork chops. This is obviously future me. Uh, the, I can't see this footage now, but this is how this process cooks these delicious pork chops. I call them pork chops. Technically, I think they are pork loin steaks. Pork chops, I think, are usually an inch or inch and a half thick. These are about half an inch thick, so they're more like pork steaks. And this is how they come out of our Ninja air fryer. I can't wait to get started on eating these. You can have them just as they are, with maybe some fries, or I'm going to cut them up and put them into a rich Chinese sauce and serve with rice. Oh, I can't wait, I really can't wait to eat them. I'm using a little recipe, it's, recipe's a grand word. I'm gonna add some things to the pork chops, but you don't need to. All we need to do is to just bung them in the air fryer. So come over here and I'll show you what we're going to do with these pork chops. You don't have to do any of this. I just thought it might give them a bit more flavor and it might just look nicer on the video. <laughs> Here are our two pork chops or pork loin steaks and they're about 100 grams each which is about three and a half ounces so we have about seven ounces of pork here and again I, I, I don't think any of this is essential but I'm going to put a bit of, oh, there's nothing there, <laughs> it's empty. <laughs> This isn't essential. Pretend this is olive oil, by the way. This isn't essential, but I'm just gonna put uh, just some things onto the pork steaks just to give them a bit of flavor, make them look good on the video. By the way, I, I am not uh, a chef or a food expert on any level. <laughs> I just like to take things and experiment with them and bung it in the air fryer. So this is another one of our, or my, <laughs> air fryer experiments with the Ninja Foodie Max Dual Zone Air Fryer. Next, I'm going to season the loin steaks with some pepper. Oh, by the way, do you like the, uh, the salt and pepper pots? Got them for Christmas from my sister because she was staying over and our salt and pepper pots were terrible. So she got us these OXO Good Grips salt and pepper pots and they are absolutely amazing. I'll put a link down in the, in the description if you fancy some of those. Let's turn them over. And I always do this, but now I've got oily hands and I'm gonna have to <laughs> spoil the salt and pepper pots again but they are wiped clean so that's good just give that a little grind if i had garlic powder i'd use it but i don't i'm going to put some paprika on i think uh, some parts of the world call it paprika powder and i would usually if i wasn't filming this i'd just sprinkle it should i do it i, I was going to use the spoon but should i just sprinkle it on let's see and watch it just, <laughs> watch the pots empty onto the pork chops. That's going okay, isn't it? And I hope you know that I am, you know, washing my hands thoroughly between touching every surface with the, with the pork steaks. Is that it? I, th I think, <laughs> I think that's, <laughs> that's the recipe. Uh, I've just put some, maybe some garlic powder would help as well, but it's time for us to now, Bung it in the air fryer. Look, I know it's I know it's not much, but it's just a little bit of preparation, a little bit of flavor. It's got a kind of barbecue air to it. I think you can also use something called pork rub. I think that pork rub powder is just paprika and garlic powder. So anyway, it's time for us to now bung it in the air fryer. <laughs> I am doing this for the first time ever and I've got my times written down here. I'm going to put this onto air fry and I'm going to dial up 375 degrees Fahrenheit or 190 degrees Celsius. And then for the time, I'm going to put in 10 minutes, but I think I'll go for 12 minutes. I'll put the actual time on screen now for what I, I will finish up with, but I'm gonna experiment with 10 minutes and we'll see how this, how this looks. And we're gonna flip it halfway as well. So to start it going, the Ninja Foodie Max Dual Zone Air Fryer, we just press this button here. And then 
we'll give it about five minutes. Here's a time jump. Five minutes left to go on the air fryer clock. <laughs> Let's pause it there by pulling the, the tray out and I'll show you how they're looking. Oh, can you hear the sizzle? And I have my silicone tongs, my Wyclef Jean silicone tongs. They don't really belong to Wyclef Jean. I just like saying Wyclef Jean silicone tongs. <laughs> and we'll just turn them over. And I think I might give them six minutes, but let's, let's put them in. Yeah, let's dial up six minutes. Whoa, so we'll stop that. And I'm gonna put on no, air fry, 190, and we'll go for six minutes. Here we go with the final countdown. Three, two, one. Oh, let's see how the pork chops look. Oh, sizzling, sizzle, sizzle. Look at that. Oh my goodness, that is almost thumbnail worthy. I think this might go on the thumbnail. I'll just hold it there like that. Look, and they look like they're done both sides. Oh my goodness, perfect. Let's get them onto a plate. Oh man, look at those chops. Wow. Dinner tonight, kids. Look how these pork chops have come out of our Ninja air fryer. I'm so proud. <laughs> so it seems like 11 minutes is the best time for pork chops or pork loin steaks of this size. And I absolutely love how they've come out. There's just enough uh, brownness to it without them feeling like they're cardboard. Sometimes when you cook pork chops, uh, they can come out a bit dry and a bit hard. But I think this is the perfect cooking time. And if we cut into one of the steaks, we're gonna cut into all of them. But oh, look at it opening up there. This is absolutely how I wanted my pork chops to come out. I swear we're gonna go vegan later in the year, I promise. And it's great, isn't it, that we're using a, an air fryer <laughs> to save energy to cook meat, which is currently destroying the planet. So I, I'm aware that I'm gonna look back on these videos in time and uh, maybe in future me will judge this a bit more harshly. But for now, tonight, these pork chops look absolutely ready to eat. Ah, oh, I can't wait. And don't forget, you don't need to do any of this preparation. You could just bung it in the air fryer and cook them for 11 minutes at 375 degrees Fahrenheit or 190 centigrade. It's time to do the taste test. I hate doing this on camera, partly because it's me eating on camera. It's not on focus, hang on. Partly because it involves eating on camera, but look at that, by the way. Um, but also because it's just a really empty experience that I get to experience this and you don't. But anyway, I'll, I'll take one for the team. Let's just check that the pork chops have come out okay. Yeah, <laughs> they're absolutely perfect. Oh my goodness. It's just right, it's just right. And it hasn't dried out, which is the biggest fear with making pork chops in the air fryer. I am calling this a dad delivers success. <laughs> Thank you so much for saying hi in the comments and being awesome by hitting that thumbs up or the subscribe button. It really does help me to keep this channel going. So thank you. And right here are all my other Ninja Foodie Max Dual Zone recipes and snack ideas.